we want to simplify or evaluate the following expression using the order of operations. Looking at the order of operations, there's nothing we can simplify inside any of these parentheses, so we skip step one. There are no exponents, so we skip step two, and notice that step three is to multiply and divide. And these two have the same priority, so we'll work our way from left to right, multiply and dividing. So looking at our expression, working our way from left to right, we'll perform this division, and then this multiplication. So we'll have negative 24 plus negative 36 divided by negative 12. Well, a negative divided by a negative is positive, so this quotient will be positive 3 plus negative 3 times negative 1. Well, a negative times a negative is also positive, so this is also positive 3. And then the last step is to add and subtract from left to right. So we'll start by determining this sum here. Negative 24 plus 3 is equal to negative 21. Remember, since we're adding integers with different signs, notice how the negative is going to outweigh the positive, so the difference is negative. And then because the integers have different signs, we need to subtract their absolute values, giving us a sum of negative 21. Or using the money analogy, you can think of negative 24 as a loss of $24, and then plus a positive three as a gain of three dollars, the result would still be a loss of twenty-one dollars, so the sum is negative twenty-one. So now we have negative twenty-one plus three, and this sum would be negative eighteen. Again, we're adding an integer with different signs. The negative outweighs the positive, therefore the sum is negative, and then because they're different signs, we subtract their absolute values, which would give us a sum of negative eighteen. Or if it makes more sense, a loss of $21 plus a gain of $3 results in a loss of $18.